So, um, if Lucy would get out the way... <laughs> Go on Lucy, jump down. She's obviously intrigued with the camera. Um, well this is actually Cannon Hill and this is a drossing and this is obviously a 360 again. So that allows you to look behind, up, down, left, right. You know, so you can have the whole view of the castle area. And we're going to go over to the actual castle itself. We're also going to go to the mound. And in a minute, we'll jump up to the trig point, which is just up the top there. If you can see it. So that's where we're going to go. Hopefully, hopefully the, uh, the wind isn't too severe. And you can actually see it. So uh, this is the actual graveyard of the castle. Um, there's actually a, it was a, a little church, I think it was a chapel behind us here. Some of the graves here, there's a point of interest, there's a grave over here, date 1633. So that would be at the time when Scotland would be an independent nation, which might happen again um, in the near future. Anyway, enough of that, let's jump up to the trick point. Let's go. Hi there. So what we've got here is this is a classic 360. So hopefully there's a bit of a wind here. So I'm raising my voice because of the wind. So you'll probably be picking up the wind in the camera. But you can see the sun is just setting over uh, Aaron there. So we have a lot of cloud there. And to the left we've got the whole aisle. And obviously Aaron, we can just see it here. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up uh, with the cloud. The Paps of Jura are further down and of course you've got Ailsa Craig which is over there. So this is what's called Cannon Hill, uh, obviously with the Drossen Castle in the back. So let's jump to the castle and see what we can see there. Well that was quick. This is us at the castle. You can see here this is the remnants if you like of a Drossen Castle. Um, this was built around 1520 and there's really very little left but this gives you a rough idea of what you can actually do with some 360 because obviously you can see the coastline behind you so you can actually picture what it was like hopefully back in the day the coastline wouldn't have changed that much but obviously you see the town has begun to sprawl out and they've got the railway line below us there which you can see over here and obviously behind us it's in cloud, but obviously that's the Isle of Arran. So, in 1520, it would have been obviously a much bigger and obviously grander castle. But a lot of the actual surrounding uh, hills, obviously, and the islands, they wouldn't have changed that much at all in the last couple of centuries. So it gives you an opportunity to think what you could do with 360 video, where you can clearly provide some sort of um, interpretation and allow the viewer to listen to you or to look around and actually see the whole area in 360 degrees and it looks even better when you put it in a virtual reality headset. Anyway, let's head over to the monument that you can just see maybe in the back of there, okay? Let's go there. So, boom, here. We're here again. You can see we're at the monument over here, um, which was actually built for some local dignitary, a local doctor back in the day. It's got slightly duller because the sun's just started to go down behind those clouds and Aaron again is covered pretty much in cloud. And a nice clear day actually over in this direction you can I can just see it actually which would be Ailsa Craig um, and obviously you've got the train line behind us and the coastline. But what this actually does is, is we can teleport from space to space or place to place. We can come from here we were at the castle two seconds ago. We were actually at the top of the mound at the trig point. And actually, what we can now do is we can jump into a still this time or to the top of Goat Fell and Aran, which is over there. So, let's go. <laughs> 